Hi, I'm Josh Ozerski, and this is eHow.com, where I am making turkey stock. So all that's left now are the picked clean bones of the carcass, and yet they can still give the last measure of sacrifice for turkey goodness. If you make your own turkey stock, it'll freeze forever, and it's really pretty easy to make, and it really, you know, it's that extra oomph, it's that next level, it's a kind of a depth of flavor that you really wouldn't get from even the very highest quality prepackaged uh, stock. So, I have here a bowl of water, a carcass, some carrots, some celery, and some onions. So, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it in there like that, and I got some other weird bones and pieces and something here. I don't know what it was. This is a little underdone. This goes in. And then this is the main body cavity and carcass, which appears to not, I don't think it would fit. So what I, and I definitely want that backbone. So that's really, what you want to do is rip it. You want to break it. The more you break it open too, the more you're exposing the bone to the soup and the better it's going to be because you want this baby to give its all, to give it up. All right, you know what? That's good enough. Ah, what the hell. The fact is, even if some sticks up, even if some sticks up, who cares? The fact of the matter is, it's going to be breaking down soon enough. Everything is going to fall away. We're going to add in our carrots celery, our onions. Once I've put all this stuff into the pot, guess what? I'm basically done. This is a Donnie Brasco recipe. This is a forget about it. You're going to basically turn this up to simmer and then go away for the week. This takes forever to cook and it can't possibly be overcooked. The only thing that you can screw up with this is you have to make sure that you add enough water to it so that it doesn't like burn away. Um, really, you should put a lid on it, but for pedagogical purposes, I'm going to leave it open here so you can see it. All right, so that's what a turkey pot should look like. The one thing you can do if you want to give your turkey stock a little bit of extra richness is you could actually take the carcass and then stick it back in a hot oven and get it all roasty. And then you'll get that like really brown stock as opposed to like the clear stock. But basically I'm going to let this go. I've got a fire underneath it. I'm going to let it come to a slow simmer and I'm going to go away. I'll watch the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy. Well, maybe not. Let's say you watch Return of the King and the Two Towers. Then about six hours will have gone by. This will about be ready. The stock cooks away. You put it in the freezer. You take it out next year, and that Thanksgiving is even better than this one. I'm Josh Ozerski, and this is eHow.com.